Today we've been doing some really interesting testing of the Adidas Alvila Pro, which is the official ball of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. And we've been doing some mechanical testing with some different pieces of apparatus that we've got here uh, to assess its, its mechanical performance. Three, two, one, firing. So the kicking robot is a piece of kit that we've developed in-house and it's, it's really, really useful for determining differences between different balls. Naturally, players are very unreliable, so especially me, if I kicked the ball 10 times, it would go off in 10 different directions. So the kicking robot can do the same thing repeatedly time and time again, which means we can really isolate the different effects of technology in the ball, uh, construction, assembly and materials of the ball, and see how that relates to performance parameters. So the drop test basically is something where we hold the ball at two metres and then drop it and see how high it bounces back. And that allows us to calculate something called the coefficient of restitution, where we have a drop height and then the bounce height, and we can work out essentially how bouncy that ball is. The manufacturers, for every ball they make, have to send off to FIFA for accreditation using the FIFA test methods and test protocol. And then they get the little FIFA quality or quality pro logo on their ball. They want to make sure that their balls are actually going to meet the specifications. So we can recreate that in our labs and we can see the differences between different balls and how they might relate to the FIFA tests as well. The stiffness test is basically compressing the ball around 30% of its original diameter and that essentially tells us how stiff that ball is and how well it keeps in the air and how much it can handle impacts. So if a ball isn't stiff enough, it won't rebound as high, but if it's too stiff, you know, for instance, if you had a boulder, then the same thing might happen. So what we're looking for is, is a perfect in-between balance where the stiffness benefits the players, but isn't damaging to the players. So when you head it, when it hits you, we don't want that to cause any injury to the players. The great thing about Loughborough and the Sports Tech Institute particularly is the collaboration between um, partners in the sports industry, both governing bodies and brands, and this institute. So we're able to meet the needs of the industry effectively. So there's been a lot of testing which has taken place over the last 20 years, which has taken the football from a hand-stitched 32 panel ball and I suppose iteratively informed the design decisions of the brands to take it from that stage into the highly spherical, highly uniform, highly efficient during a bounce characteristics of the ball that we see today. And that development really is, is astronomical. There's been a lot of aerodynamic testing that has happened here as well, um, to the point where the test results from, from Loughborough now actually feed into the design of a lot of the balls around the world. Mm -hmm. 